Hello, I welcome you all back um, to this Frappy Framework and ERP Next tutorial. Once more, my name is Anthony Emanuel. And this time around, I'm going to talk about, uh, show you how to work with uh, Frappy actions and links um, from the documentation in the link um, above the browser. You have um, um, a title that says actions and links, and all it does is help you create a um, new document in a different doc type. Um, say you are in customer doc type and you want to create a sales invoice, you click on create sales invoice and you just create it. Um, without further description, I'm going to jump straight into a doc type to show you what I'm talking about. Um, here we have a customer and when you click on a customer, it opens up, you're going to see this dashboard here. Uh, after this dashboard, you also see this kind of tab here called connections and in the connections you see all the linked doc types all doc types where customer is found and here is the action button um sorry not the action the link button what it does is enables you to create document and once you create the click on create the document it fetches this customer name and automatically inserts it into the document um that's what the plus button stands for but Clicking on this button, we kind of open a list of, okay, say opportunities, then filter by this customer. Um, and we're going to run a test now before uh, learning how to create this ourselves. Okay, I'm going to click on this, uh, okay, click the sales order. Now, this is going to open a new sales order, as you can see in the link. And the customer field is already automatically filled, right? Um, how about clicking on the sales order itself, not the plus button, though this plus button is gonna load once the browser refreshes. I'm not gonna wait for that. Click on sales invoice. What it does is open sales invoice list, then apply a filter automatically. A filter is gonna be applied here to you know, get the sales in uh, order um, whose customer name is the present customer from which the document was clicked, but I have no sales invoice mean that the um, filter, or you already see it, you see the filter here, here is the customer name, so it's automatically filtered by the customer name. Okay, how can we create this in our own custom uh, doc type? How about we want uh, uh, to kind of add our own button to a custom doc type from a default or a core doc type? Is that possible? Yes, it is. How do we create that? Okay. Now, um, how do we create this action link? Um, there are two ways to create it. First, you can create it from the doc type in question. Um, say I want to create, um, here is an agent. Uh, from my property doc type I've been creating through the tutorial, have an agent and, and the agent, uh, we're gonna have the action buttons at the top. But um, two ways to create this is either creating directly into this doc type so that I can create a property um property excuse me so i can create a property directly from the agent and we have an agent name and in the property we have some fields connected directly to the property we're going to check that yeah we have this field agent directly connected to the property mean that from this agent field here, um, doctor, I'm able to click a button. We see property button here, you click it. It opens this property for you and automatically fills the agent. Um, we're gonna go right, dive right into it, but I don't like the look of this. I'm gonna break this in two, in half. So I'm gonna edit this doctor. Scroll down, okay, this column, I'm gonna drag this column here, okay, save. Back, reload. Okay, um, now it's better, it's far better this way. Okay, um, I'm gonna dive straight into the doc type. We have the agent doc type, I'm gonna edit the agents doc type so we can add the action links edit um if you are in production 
you can use customize but since i'm in development i'm going to use edit doc type directly Okay, here is the agent doc type. You scroll down to the bottom, you see this linked document, add row. And which document are we linking to the agent? We're linking the property. Which field is connected directly to the agent from the property doc type? Here from my property, the field is called agent. I'm gonna add it agent and where do you want to add it as kind of a group i'm gonna add it as a property we'll see what that looks like save okay that's all right now this has been added you can open an agent to see what we get agent lists okay, here are agents you know, click on any of them and you see connections showing you have this group here is what you see as this group the link document is what you see here as property and this number here means that this agent has four properties attached this button means creates new agent and when you click this button the agent field will be automatically Field. and here you have it the agent is already automatically filled we go back um this is to filter the properties attached to this agent and you see the filter already appeared and you can see it's this pro four properties is attached to the agent i'm going to clear the filter and go back and you can do other things but um how about doing this manually, not from the doc type? How about not adding it to the doc type? Um, you have your app and you try to ship your app to production. Your app should automatically go with this thing rather than coming in here to edit it uh, using customization or directly into the doc type. You can delete this, save. Then we test this page. Um, refresh isn't gonna work. And reload, once you reload this, Disappears. Okay, now it's blank again. Um, I'm gonna copy one of the documents. I will can use the customer. Let's see what the customer have for us. Okay, I'm gonna copy everything from this um, overview, this heat map down to these connections. You can go straight to your doc type, open ERP next, ERP next, scroll down to selling a doc type customer yeah we have a file called customer underscore dashboard it means the doc type underscore dashboard dot pi in the doc type folder i'm gonna copy everything inside this customer underscore dashboard dot pi close it close the entire erp next open the cost uh, uh, state app in the doc type Go straight to the doc type um agent now you can create a new file in agent new file should be agent underscore dash dot dot pi now paste what you copied into the agent you delete this uh dictionary content we can leave just one Um, here is for the list of doc types you want in a group. Uh, let me show you what this means. Um, here you have the support. Support is a group, and you see all the doc types under support. Same for others. You can see all the doc types. Like this pre-sales, you see the two doc types, opportunity and quotation. And here you have it as pre-sale. You can also check it from the file. You see here, pre-sales, we have opportunity and quotation. Receive opportunity quotation. I don't need this. I'm interested in the property. I'm gonna add property here. Yeah, I'm gonna call it property. 
Here are the dock type that is going to be displayed. For this dynamic link, I have no dynamic link for the now. I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah, here, um, what this non-standard non -standard field name means is uh, in this agent, this agent itself, connecting or attached to this doc type, in this property doc type, which field from agent should the property doc type be filled? In our agent, uh, sorry, in our property doc type property, the connected field is agents. Agents. So mean that here, this non-standard field, you're going to fill it here as agents. Mean that in our property doc type, the field that should be filled with the agent name is agents. Can check that once more. Here we have our property, the field name is agent. And here is a heat map. If you attach heat map, is heat map is available, it's gonna show that. And here is the you can add a note for the heat map. Call it dashboards information. Yeah, um for this, I don't need this. I don't need this. Except, um, just gonna call it agent. Save. Okay, let's review this once more. We created a file agent underscore dashboard to display dashboard in the agent. Um, we have a heat map to show heat map. Um, here is a message. And this is what it looks like in customer. This is a heat map. This date. This message below is what this stands for. This message. Yeah. Then this non-standard field is uh, where this field here, where the agent should be automatically filled when we create property from agent page or doc type. And here is the list of doc type you are going to show on the action links. I'm going to show here. And we can save this. Remember or recall, please restart your server since you added a new file. Once you're done with that, you can go straight to your agent's page and reload. Um, good. Now you see the dashboard. You have the heat map, which um, we know that has been passed, but that's not important. You see the message, dashboard information, dashboard information. And for the other ones, you can close this overview. Here's what we are interested in, the property itself. Now you can click on this button, add, and automatically you're going to see that the agent field is already filled. Scroll down, you see it here. Agent is already filled and the name put as well. Okay, you can click on another agent. Okay. Mm, does this agent have any property? Yeah, one property is attached to this agent. And when you click on this, it's going to filter by that agent name. You see the filter has already been applied. Okay, that's it. You can as well add as many doc types are attached to your, you know, doc document. You can add them and you see everything here. Now, when you ship this code, automatically this appears. You do not need to go into the doc type itself to edit this linked document. And that's it for um, the document link. So we might go straight into this action link box for the now. We just explain this. I hope you understand. If any question, you can drop it in, down in the comment box below. And once more, my name is Anthony Emmanuel. Thank you very much. And please do like and subscribe.